What's up, everybody? You know what time it is, right? It's that paperwork time, guys. It's this big liar's paperwork time. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, okay, is I'm going to start off with this. It's, um, this is his, uh, Hamilton Miscible Chargers, okay? If you guys see it, it's, uh, it is, it is for this, it is for Dwayne Pelfrey, guys, if you can see it right there. All right, his first name is Hobart, Hobart. As you can see, this was the, the outcome of the case, guys, okay? It was... I'm sorry, guys. My phone's a piece of shit. Disorderly conduct. Okay. And it was uh, 11-22-2010, which is right there. Okay. It's a finished case. Okay. Now, here's some of the details on, on it right here, guys. Okay. As you guys can see, it was originally a domestic violence right there at the bottom. There was a te damn wind. There was a temporary protection order signed. Okay. And then I guess they kissed and made up about three weeks later, and it was terminated by um, by the the requester. Okay. But if you guys look at here, look at this guy's thing. On. No talk contact with Michelle Pelfrey and the agency that confiscated the weapons are to keep them. All right. He, you know, of course, you know, he, he did his not guilty plea and then he ended up pleading control or pleading guilty to it. Um, he got put on community control. Okay. Um, okay, so guys, he pled it down to a, um, a disorderly conduct, a misdemeanor, okay, which, you know, he wouldn't have been able to have a firearm had he been, um, convicted of domestic violence, okay, I mean, he wouldn't have been much good without a, um, with being able to have a gun as a cop, but he's not much good as a cop anyway, considering he can't file evidence and he won't re put his name on a report, <clears throat> Okay, now guys, here's, um, this is his case in the Butler County Common Police Court, guys, okay? Now, this is in 2002, State of Ohio versus Hobart Dwayne Pelfrey, okay? Hobart Dwayne Pelfrey, Hobart Dwayne Pelfrey, and he went in front of Judge Spaeth. Okay, here's the criminal case, the case is closed, 7-9-2002. Was the file date the uh, action dereliction of duty? It's right there, Judge Honorable Keith Space. Okay, we've got um, uh, you know Dwayne Pelfrey. Okay, right there in the black or in, covered in green. It's dereliction of duty, a fifth degree felony. Okay. So, he was charged with a felony. The disposition was criminal, or, the, or he was sentenced, okay. Sorry, guys, I got to get my <clears throat> shit going on here. Here's some more details if you guys want to read them. As, you know, let's see how they go. 7, 9, 12, okay. So, yeah, so here we go. So, this is more information about everything that happened, his bond setting, um, all that. Okay. All right. That's how much money he was paying. Now, what kills me, what, what irks me is, is this man was on, uh, adult probation. And from what I understand, he went right from being the chief of police in this town to, being an officer in seven, the village of Seven Mile, which is right down the road from this, is where they go to that Halloween party every year. How can somebody who 
as you guys can see right there's the date you guys the dates right okay this is how much he had to pay adult probation deposit applied adult probation deposit of probation deposit probation deposit he you know every month you have to pay for your your um your on when you're on adult probation here you have to pay 100 usually 100 bucks a month whatever 105 whatever okay so and here's i think i already seen this one we already showed you guys this one yeah okay let's see what the last one is here Now, his little friends, same one. He must have triple copied it. Okay. You know, guys, what kills me is, and here's the actual court filings from it. What bothers me about this whole case is, is that, or these people out here that he's got on his payroll, you know, like this lady, Shayla, who is now the head of the, the neighborhood watch. Ain't that convenient for her? And I have, I have, I have it on good authority that her husband was, um, the two drug abuses that her husband was convicted of had to do with heroin. So you don't get the drug abuse charge for having heroin on you. You get possession of drugs. Drug abuse is when you have paraphernalia on you, like a needle, some kind of a rig, you know, for whatever you're doing, a pipe to smoke crack or meth out of, whatever you're doing. If you get caught with one of them items, that's drug abuse charge. Anything other than that would be possession of drugs, okay? So this corrupt piece of shit has assigned the head of the neighborhood watch as the wife of a criminal drug abuser convenient right no wonder she's got his back <laughs> i mean i guess i'd have his back too you know so here's this here's this you know this but you know hear her say it, it's all political you know um i read an article i you google his name just anybody wants to google it just google duane d-u-a-n-e pelfrey and inside there there's an article from the cincinnati magazine and it states about how he uncovered a plot to murder him uh, by five juveniles that was in the, in the village. And he was, you know, he painted this picture like he become a hero because he stopped these juveniles that were in a gang called the 007s. Whatever, never heard of them. Um, and uh, he uncovered a plot to, to, and he took them down. Well, the grand jury didn't indict any of them because... It was all hearsay. Everything that only evidence they had against these kids was the evidence he manufactured against them. Okay. A lot of the people in this village believe that he blew this way out of proportion in order to cover his tracks because he was stealing from the property room. Okay. Um, that's what he did. He, he had took it. There was one. He had took a gun from the property room and gave it to a lady to help her protect her property okay so he stole evidence out of the evidence room and gave it to a, a citizen um i heard that he from what i heard and i the paperwork is in here somewhere that they were investigating him for over a year for this so it wasn't just a one-time thing because if it was it it wouldn't have last the investigation wouldn't have lasted like a year um, and it will come across some paperwork, I'm sure, because it's in here. I, I read it. Unless I had happened to... No, I read that here. Yeah. Um, anyways. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Let's see if this is part of it here. Yeah, right here. Here we go. Uh, State of Ohio versus Hobart Dwayne Palfrey. Okay. It says right here, on or, uh, on or about... May 14, 2001 through June 28, 2002 at the Butler at Butler County, Ohio, Hobart Dwayne Pelfrey, a public servant, did recklessly fail to perform a duty expressly imposed by law with respect to the public servant's office. So, you know, that was it was obviously ongoing. OK. OK, so here we've got this. OK. Listen for everybody to read. 
Okay. Uh, this is the same one I just showed you guys. The, the, the deal. Okay. This is uh, more stuff. I'm just gonna, you know, you guys can pause the stuff and read it at your leisure. Okay. I just don't like being called a liar, but here's the evidence of this guy's criminal activity, everybody. Okay. Here's more. Just a big liar, ain't I, Shayla? Ain't I you fake named Moya Rose Lady? All right. Just a big fat liar, huh? Did I guess let me guess, did I sign all these judges' names and, and, and the captain's names on these papers? Did I forge all these names on there, man? Is this what is that what happened? Huh? He was put on Adult probation, guys. And while on adult probation, was serving as a police officer. Tell me how that fucking works, guys. Tell me, just tell me how that fucking works. I don't get it. Okay. He pled it down to a mis second degree misdemeanor, you guys. And here you go. Here's his big sentence for it. 90 days in jail, $750 fine, which got knocked down, I believe, in there. It says it. He, he, got, he got knocked down to... Time um, suspended sentence and ended up paying. I think it said two hundred and fifty dollars. You know, fine. It said seven fifty. It's awesome, man. He's great. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, and I showed you guys the. Hams, you missable stuff. Okay. Let me see. Hang on. I got something else here. Now, before I go on to Miss Miss Hampton's uh, husband's charges, since she wants to put her fucking nose in people's business. Okay. Here, guys, is something else I looked up. Okay. They don't even know I've looked this up. Um, I've, you know, I've just Google searched this man. And his Twitter account comes in. Up. So I just, you know, browse it. Check this guy's out. Check this fucking guy out. This is an officer saying this. Look at, look at this. You're an idiot. You're a retard. Watch, hang on. You guys ain't seen shit yet. Watch this. This is the way this man speaks to the public. And this is his temperament. Look at, this. Look at the shit this guy says. And even goes in here and tells everyone how he's a, uh, he's a 30-year uh, cop. Can you imagine what people think about this guy when he said oh, he's a cop of 30 years? Can you imagine that, guys? I mean, look at his disgusting mouth. There's a couple in here where he basically, and he actually threatens somebody to come and whip their ass. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. <laughs> I mean, it don't matter who he's talking to. This is shit he's putting on public posts, man. Here you go. I'm a cop of 30 years. Okay. Beat off because no one cares what you think, asshole. <laughs> wow. And if and I would beat the brakes off your ass if you touched my flags, punk ass snowflake. Wow. <laughs> You fucked hard. Shut up. 
Get a life, you damn snowflake. Lady, you're a fucktard. Get a life and get out of, out of out of the Trumps. Whatever that means. Shut up, stupid. How in the hell do idiots like you get elected? <laughs> I mean I mean, you know. I mean you got I mean if you guys ain't got a problem with, with his attitude and it's I mean that's just, just proving he's a fucking tyrant. See, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I'm just giving you guys, you know, his attitude. This is how the man thinks. This is, I mean, you know, you are a fucking idiot. You loser. But I guess it runs in your family. Where was your heart at when Obama was doing the same thing? Same, Megan. That's right, because you had no heart. Whatever, I don't care about all that political shit. <laughs> so there you go guys there's his stuff okay <sighs> okay guys and y'all heard me tell y'all how he left a message and he deleted it right and then I was able to see it because you know it's in my notifications right here guys right so here's this guy's post to me guys tell me what I should think about that I tell you, man, he should be able to write idiot in 30 different languages. He uses the word so much. Should I take that as a, as, as a, as a threat, guys? This coming from an officer with knowing the, the issue, me fronting him out. Sh should I take that as a threat, y'all? You tell me. Now, on to you, Miss Shayla, since you like to put your fucking nose in people's business... And you don't like to, you know, and you like to uh, back uh, bad cops. Yeah, you wanted to put your nose in business. Well, guess what? Here the business getting put in your nose. And here's what the business is. This everybody is Joshua Hampton. This is the lady who's commenting all this shit on um, per, uh, backing this corrupt ass uh, captain. Here you go, guys. This is this is who they. This is the the husband of the person they made the house. Uh, the, this is the husband of the person they made the fucking head of the neighborhood watch in New Miami. Drug abuse, drug abuse. Okay, and then we got. Uh, uh, here we go. Drug abuse and then a failure to comply with a court order. Okay. Let's see what the next one is. Oh, no. Lots of goodies here. Let's see what this all says. Wow, he, he, he waved a lot of time. Had a bench warrant put on him. That was probably for failure to appear. <laughs> failure to comply, failure to comply. Uh -huh. So, I mean, yeah, lady, I mean, you can be proud of him. I mean, that's that's your business, you know. Anyways, guys, so there you go. Here's all the that's all the paperwork and stuff on 
on the the corruption out here. This is guys. This is just. I've got people emailing me that live out there. It's new stuff every time. I'm just not going to put anything out with that anybody gives me unless I can validate it. Um, I do have some other things in the works. Um, a couple things with the chief. A couple things with the mayor. All right. From what I understand, our mayor, the Madam Mayor, had a had a, a domestic violence herself, and she. And it had it had it dismissed, you know, that that government worker privilege, you know, just like him having all his stuff uh, reduced. I mean, that's what happens. You have multi charges anyway. They like to they like to bond, you know. They like to even if you don't have multi ones, they like to they like to get you to plead guilty so they give you that good plea bargain right? hey you know we'll give you no jail time we'll plead it down to a misdemeanor you plead guilty and it's done that way they ain't got to waste money on a trial y'all know how that game goes y'all know exactly how the game goes um you know the bottom line is he pled guilty to all of it so shayla he was guilty you know, don't come at me with that stupid shit. Oh, they pled it down for him or they gave him the deals because they knew he was not guilty. No, if they knew he was not guilty, he wouldn't have been, he would have been found not guilty. If I'm not going to be, if I'm not guilty of something, I mean, I didn't know my rights back in the day when I got all the stuff on my record. I haven't had, I haven't, I haven't had nothing on my record in over 10 years, honey. So best check yourself. That's because. I'm not willing to. The only thing I've had on my record in the past 10 years was jaywalking. And I beat that shit. I was found not guilty. Because I went into court and I fought it myself. Because, you know, that's what happens when you know a little bit about the law, honey. But, you know, they offered me deals and deals, too. Then that's why all my charges I've got, even the, some, even the ones I didn't do, I was found guilty for anyway because I couldn't beat the charges. I, for one, didn't know enough about the law. For two, I didn't have the money. That's not the case with Mr. Pelfrey. He had the money to fight it. And he knew his rights. So he didn't have a choice. He knew that if he took this shit to court, he would have been found guilty for it. So don't come off the wall to me on some shit. Oh, they offered him misdemeanors because they knew he was not guilty. It's not how it works, honey. I mean, maybe in your little twisted fantasy land that it works that way, but it doesn't. And as for you, Moya Rose, your fake-ass Facebook name wannabe from Shit's Creek, that's fine. You can back your corrupt captain and dog this other cop that you're saying I'm getting information for, saying he's a bad cop, and, I, and you know, and you're ragging on him and shit, but... But this other one that the but Mr. Pelfrey, I guess he's your buddy, so therefore he's okay to be corrupt. But this, well, I think you said his name was Todd. I think this Todd guy that's a cop, he's not okay to be corrupt. Just your buddy Pelfrey is. Do you not see how double standard that is, buddy? If you don't, that's your problem, not mine. I go after bad police, I don't care where they are, who they are. Um, you want bad cops? dealt with i'll deal with them i'll put their shit on blast and then i'll fucking i'll file all this stuff i put on blast with the attorney general and and the fbi that's where all these papers are going to be going this man cannot be in law enforcement he is a criminal he has a criminal mind. He just look at his texts on Twitter and look at his response to me from making my first video about him. You can see he's a criminal. Look at his look at the things that he was saying in both contexts. Come on, everybody. You know it. I mean, I know it. And I'm sure that every one of you guys that have seen everything unfold so far are are getting a pretty good grasp of what's going on. What's going on is this little village has been torn up and beat down by its pilot, by its, by its government figures for years. The last police chief was the one that screwed with my son and we got his ass out for stealing time. They hire a new, a new chief that is doing the same thing, stealing time. I just don't get it. 
a mayor that is a corrupt piece of shit, a chief and a captain. They're all corrupt. They're all corrupt. They do what they want. They they think that they don't have to answer to the citizens, and they're wrong. That's who put them there, and that's who will take them out of there. The sooner they understand that, the better. It's called public servants, servant for a reason. You're supposed to serve the public, not your own selfish, greedy, corrupt needs. I can't have it. Sorry. You know, Shayla, you want to say, oh, I'm butt hurt because I got arrested. Um, a cop did must have arrested me and made me mad. All the people on my channel know why I do what I do. And it's right. You're right. I did get arrested by a cop. But I got arrested by a cop and charged with assault to a police officer for no reason. I did nothing to the cop. He lied. He beat the fuck out of me. I was just home from the military serving my country for five years. And he beats the shit out of me for because and it was right after Rodney King. He was black. I was white. I can't say for certain that had anything to do with it, but I know for one thing, all the black people on the side of the road call, saying whip that white motherfucker's ass, showing what Rodney went through, uh, Jackson, didn't help my train of thought and, and my my way of thinking much. But all that aside, it don't matter. That was then and this is now. I'm never going to let, an, I, if I can help another person from going through what me and my wife went through, a cop beating the shit out of me and choke slamming my pregnant girlfriend and causing us to lose our child, yep, I am going to do everything I can to stop that f from happening to anyone else in this world. If I have any way of doing it, I will stop that. Someone like the Pelfrey, someone like the chief, Someone like this mayor does not deserve to be in any position of power. They are corrupt. Their minds are warped. They have they they have criminal thinking, and it's not fit to be a police officer, not or a mayor, than any of them. So hate me all you want. I'm just putting the facts out there. What you choose to do with them facts is on you. But. There it is, guys. So I promised you some paperwork today. And News Now How delivered paperwork today. Y'all be good. Y'all stay safe. And y'all remember, always record the police. News Now How, signing out.